What's up guys, it's Saturday evening, it's been a pretty hectic day today, we've, uh, we've been at a More Than Nutrition, um, where we met Sean Roden, who was the third place uh, in Mr Olympia, I think for the last two years in a row, I'm telling you, 2016 is going to be his year, his physique is insane, he's bringing back the old school physique, the golden era physique, um, yeah, really cool guy, um, we spent about 30 minutes you know, chatting to him, picking his brains, really really great you know more than nutrition always hooking up with the latest guys uh, the top guys in the industry so big shout out to them um i've been saying i wanted to get this video out for the probably the past week over a week now um it's about diet um so touching upon things that are kind of familiar uh, a lot of people look at uh, maybe calorie diets so you know eating i think there's one that's like uh you do 500 calories two days uh, and then you do um, like a normal a normal diet for I think another three days and then you do another two days low two, you know three days higher two days low again um, some people uh, I think include my dad as well you know have had great success with this um, for me counting calories doesn't work um, I like to know what I'm eating um, and kind of the macronutrient breakdown behind it for me I like to keep it real simple you've got carbohydrates protein and fat now each one of these that will make up these calories um, so if we're looking at protein we've got four calories per one gram same with carbohydrates so four calories per one gram if we're looking at fats we've got double that okay so we've got nine calories per one gram okay so you can see that if you go maybe too much on your fats that's why the calories are so high um, maybe if you're looking at kind of trying to lose the weight you drop your calories by 500 um, calories in a deficit uh, and also doing your exercise that's how you're going to lose the weight um, but realistically you know are you losing fat or are you losing muscle or are you losing kind of both together so for me um, I'll put below about you know what kind of formulas I work to um, you know feel free to obviously copy this and kind of work to the same sort of percentages but this is what works for me if it works for you, fantastic, and um, you know, take what you will from it. So, what I like to look at because I'm quite an active person, I do quite a lot of workouts. You know, looking at five to you know seven workouts a week. Um, I work to the basis of my body weight in pounds. I'm going to times that uh, by sixteen, and that will give me uh, sort of the calorie intake for for me to main, maintain my body weight. What do I knock five hundred calories off of that? Uh, which I think with with maintaining it's about 3,105 calories so if I knock the you know, 500 off I'm looking at about 2,600 uh, and then from there I work on that and I break it down to 40% carbohydrates 40% protein and 20% fat that's my starting I do that for a couple of weeks uh, when my body kind of gets used to it, and it you know we start hitting that plateau where no movement you know I'm not dropping fat or anything like that um, you know the muscle you know is hopefully maintaining then I'll carb cycle so I'll do some days higher carbs then drop them slowly um, sort of slowly lower and I'll bring them back up uh, kind of keeping the body guessing you know when it's going to get these carbs when it isn't uh, again trying to keep this deficit uh, of about 500 uh, never really trying to drop too much uh, and what I like to see is my muscle staying the same and my body fat percentage slowly dropping. I don't want it quickly because if I'm losing it too quick, um, you know, it's not healthy. Also, when you come back to, you know, slowly reverse dieting to come back to a normal life, especially if you're doing like things like competitions, you can, you know, you can put on almost double. There was a picture that I put up, I think two, maybe in like two to three weeks after my competition, my first one, I went out on a binge eat and I ate everything and everything. I think literally the next day, I ate almost 12 pack of Dunkin Donuts um, it was insane but I managed to almost double what I'd lost in body weight um, yeah and I just instantly looked puffy I didn't have any definition it had all gone um, but it shows how fast you know these crash diets as soon as you you know you come back to your normal living you're probably gonna double what you've just lost and that's because the body takes everything rather than just taking what it needs to you know to sufficiently run your body um so i'll put down below 
um, about you know all, all the different types but that's kind of what I do on my cutting uh, now I know a lot of people who kind of ask me in the gym about the bulking and you know what they're eating um, I'll touch upon maybe I'll do a video tomorrow um, about kind of the foods that I eat uh, and typically you know how I work out um, and then what I'd eat post workout pre workout um, you know what I get up in the morning and eat any shakes anything like that um, again this is what works for me you know take what you will from this you know try it yourself um, you need to learn your body I've coming up to my third competition I think it's safe to say until my sixth competition even then I won't know my body um, it's a learning process and it takes time so for now work out your formulas stick to it you know it's only I think it's what third week of January maybe the fourth week of January you're doing well keep that mindset strong keep it going we don't want to see the gyms dying down um, you know encourage the people around you if they start you know dipping off encourage them getting that motivation back in um, maybe look into some people online um, you know who inspires you or kind of people who are looking what they're doing and stuff like that but um, for now you know enjoy your Saturdays I hope everyone's out enjoying themselves kind of doing what they love um, you know I'm definitely living what I want to do and you know this is what I've got dreaming you know up ahead fingers crossed you know wake those dreams so for now take care and uh, I'll get another video up soon See you guys later.